idiotic. I know very few people might be idiotic. So I had a lot of friends who went to college and who studied. I went as well, but I came back and a lot of them would be like, you know, I want to stay in New York, I want to stay in London. I was like, no, yeah, we have to come back and do something for our country. Bring all that knowledge back home, whatever exposure we've got, come back and do it in our country. So I'm very patriotic in that sense, that I want India to go ahead, I want India to rise. So in a way when uh, I was actually in studying in Nottingham when Facebook hit, when Facebook like epidemic, if I may call it anything, yeah. when it hit and it just spread and it just blew up and everyone was on Facebook and it hadn't started in India yet. And I, I actually got teased about that. When I was in England, I actually got teased about that. And, oh, it's not in your country as yet, you know. It's in America, it's in England. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting. And now when I hear that the power of Twitter and Facebook, the, basically the power of social media in our country, how powerful India is as a social media country, it's amazing. I think social media changed the government in our country. So I, I think for one way is, you know, I can go on tweeting and saying this is happening, but I don't think that still people are getting it in their head. I think another thing maybe what we, we, I don't mean me only, but I mean we as a society might need to do is take this probably one step ahead, you know, and uh, there has to be, there has to be a revolution to solve this problem.